to some Anchorage Assembly members, the Chugach State Park is in need of improvements to help create better access to some areas of the park. And that's exactly what they hope to do with this project. There's already a preliminary list of projects that will be included in what could become the municipality's first Chugach State Park Access Service Area bond package. The initial round is going to fund projects like road maintenance or road repairs to Upper Dearman, paving of Canyon Road to the backside of Flat Top, uh, Camel Creek Road. Honey Bear, Black Bear, Snow Bear, Kingsway. Assemblymember Randy Soltz says the service area is broad, but the initial round will fund projects mainly for limited road service areas that are often taken care of by a small number of residents. He says those citizens have an unfair burden in having to take care of roads that are driven on by hundreds of cars each day. In his eyes, making some of the dirt roads into paved roads would reduce immediate maintenance costs while also providing safer and easier access to the parks. Chugach State Park is just one of the great assets that the municipality has. I mean, we're one of the few cities that has spectacular mountains and hiking trails right off our doorstep. It's already accessed by a lot of our citizens, citizens, and what we're trying to do is just make that easier, safer, and just expand it to our, our tourists to come visit. The current bond amount is not to exceed $10 million, which would be expected to be used in phases. Still, not everyone is on board with that kind of funding going towards possible improvements. The one pushback is the amount, but again, just because we authorize a $10 million bond doesn't mean we issue it all at once. Some of the projects will be phased with design and study, later plans, and then finally the execution. At the next Anchorage Assembly meeting, there will be a public hearing on the preliminary list of projects likely to be included in the bond package. The ordinance submitting the bond will be introduced at the next Anchorage Assembly meeting on October 10th. Lexi Elverton, Alaska's News Source.